Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review on the Glossier Bubble Wrap Eye Cream and Lip Pumping Cream. Um, this came out not too long ago, but I'm barely trying it out. Um, I've been trying it out for about a little over two weeks now, so I felt like I definitely have enough time with the products where I can actually like explain to you how I feel about it. I'm specifically going to be comparing it to the Origins Eye Cream. Um, this is the Origins Eye Cream. And I know that they're very different. Um, one of them, the Origins one, is definitely meant for more like of a brightening effect. But I kind of wanted to compare them because I feel like this is such a popular eye cream. Um, it's really, really good. I also was really, really impressed by this. And honestly, after trying out the Origins eye cream, I was like, I don't think I can try out any other ones because this one is amazing. Like, what more do you want from an eye cream? But um, when the Gl when Glossier released their bubble wrap, I was like, hmm, interesting. Um, and I always feel like Glossier's products, especially with the skincare, are like a hit or miss. Um, so I definitely wanted to try it, review it, and tell you guys how I felt about it. Let's start off with the bubble wrap with packaging. I love the packaging on this. This one has a pump, which I really, really appreciate because it's so much more sanitary than having it in a container like the Origins one because it's like you're just sticking your finger into this and it's not the most hygienic thing to do, you know? Um, and it's also because it's so close to your eyes. I, I really appreciate that Glossier with, with the pump, especially because I, I feel like a lot of eye creams don't have pumps. I know that the Tatcha one has like a... It's almost like a, it looks like a lip gloss tube and you like squeeze it out underneath your eye. I have not tried that one. My budget is not that big yet. So I feel like I just really appreciated how Glossier went with the pump. In terms of how it feels, um, they feel very similar when you put it on like the back of your hand. But I will say the Origins one is a lot more thicker. It has a thicker consistency, which I don't know if people like or don't like. Um, it's really up to you and what you feel, what you're into. Um, I personally do like a thick, although I appreciate how Glossier's consistency is more of like a silky consistency. Um, sometimes with the Origins one, I feel like it runs everywhere almost. Like it could kind of like get all over the place. I don't know what it is. It's thick, but it's still like runny almost. And the Glossier one is not as thick, but it just is so silky. It's I've never felt something silkier. The only thing is though... Um, the Glossier one, I noticed that it kind of gets a little sticky if you don't set it with some concealer or something underneath. Like if you're not putting on makeup that day and you just put on the bubble wrap, it kind of can get sticky, um, which might not be a big deal to a lot of people, but just want to let you know it gets sticky. Um, I don't experience that with the Origins one. It's not sticky at all. Um, I, again, maybe it is because this one is so silky. The Origins eye cream is meant to be used more in the morning um, because this one is known to brighten and depuff. I do feel like the, the Glossier one depuffs, but it definitely does not brighten. Um, if you're looking for something to brighten your under eyes, at first when I was trying out the Origins one, I was like, you know, this doesn't really brighten it underneath my eyes at all, like at all. But it wasn't until I started using this one, I was like, you know what, no it does. Um, even the color of the Origins eye cream it's like a almost like a pinky yellowy color and you can see how when I apply it underneath my eyes it kind of leaves like a little color but it definitely goes away quickly it oxidizes um but the Glossier one is just like clear it shows up no color at all and I think that the reason why the Origins one has that little tint is almost because it's meant to like brighten underneath your eye. So in terms of like fluid ounces and all that, the Origins eye cream is 0.5 ounces and it is $32. And the Glossier bubble wrap is 0.74 ounces and it is $26. Um, so again, I just feel it really depends. Um, I would definitely say for younger skin, the Glossier eye cream, you know, if you're just like looking to incorporate some sort of eye cream into your routine and, you know, you're definitely on the younger side, you don't really do anything crazy, you don't really have any wrinkles as of now, um, I would say start off with Glossier Bubble Wrap. Um, if you've never ever tried any eye cream, just take it. It's $26. A lot of eye creams are really, really expensive. Um, whereas if you are more serious about your skincare uh, or maybe you have some wrinkles on the side of your 
um, eyes. I definitely have like smile lines on my eyes. So when I smile, I'll have the lines. And I have noticed that since I've been using the eye cream, it's improved a lot. If you're trying to be a bit more serious with your under eye care, I would recommend just going for the Origins one, um, which is a bit more money, but it's, I think it's a lot better. However, it really depends. I would say you can even try out both. This one is great for the mornings, but I love using the Glossier Bubble Wrap one at nighttime and just putting it underneath my eyes and then you wake up and they're a lot more moisturized and plump. Um, whereas this one is like great for the mornings for when you need that, you know, brightening, you're like dead, you have bags under your eyes. Um, I would recommend this one. I have not tried any other eye creams besides these two. So I cannot vouch for all the other ones. This is what I've experienced with both of these and they've been great. Um, so I can't really say one is better than the other. I just definitely think that they're great for different things at different times. Um, but I would definitely say it's, I think I would say it's worth it to go out and try out the Glossier Bubble Wrap. It's also just such a great like packaging and it's $26, which is totally not that bad for an eye cream. My overall thoughts on the bubble wrap is I think it's great, especially for a younger audience. Um, it's definitely meant to be, you know, I think that eye creams are a preventative type of skincare. A lot of people disagree that you do or don't need it in your skincare routine. Um, I just started using eye creams not too long ago, maybe like three months ago, and adding it into my skincare. Um, so it's really, it really depends. Eye creams are definitely not something that you see right away. Um, it's something that over time you will see like it, it's improve. It's helping your skin out. Um, I will say the Glossier Bubble Wrap, after I used it for the two weeks, I actually did start to notice something, whereas maybe with the Origins one, I don't always notice. I do, however, with the Origins, have like an instant thing where I do notice that my eyes do look brighter and a bit more less puffy in the morning you know after I apply it but the Glossier one after time like after like the week and a half that I used it like toward the end of the second week I was like hey like I, my fine lines aren't that noticeable um so I don't know if I'm crazy but I definitely noticed something um in terms of my lip for my lip care I don't really like it as a lip plumping cream um I do feel like it helps I, I do definitely feel like it helps with all the lines that, you know, like the peel aways. I would definitely recommend if you want something more for your lips. I love the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I use this all the time as if it's like, as if it's like lip balm, even though that's not how it's meant to be used. But um, this is definitely really, really good. And I think since I have this, this does the job. And I just, I don't know, I don't really, I didn't really notice that much of a difference on my lips when I use this. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this short little eye cream talk thank you for coming to my eye cream talk um i just wanted to share my experience with them a lot of you guys have been asking me over on my instagram how i've been liking the bubble wrap and i told you guys i would film a video on it once i really experienced a full experience yeah, those are my overall thoughts on both of those eye creams especially the bubble wrap one um my suggestion is if you're interested in trying it and you don't have any experience with eye creams i would say just go for it and try that one out um it's been great for me it leaves your makeup like your under eye concealer looking on point so if you're looking for something like that i would definitely say it's worth it 26 dollars again and it has a pump okay like that's great Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!